Hello friends, uh, today we will be talking about uh, digital banking units that are going to be set up in India to commemorate 75 years of Indian independence. All commercial banks in India have been directed to set up 75 banking units in 75 districts. Now what is uh, the uh, difference between a digital banking unit and a digital kiosk? that the banks are currently having. You must have come across, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, digital kiosks uh, which are being operated by different banks uh, with a lot of uh, self-service equipments uh, in that. One is the ATM, passbook printer, check deposit machine, deposit cash acceptance machine and a uh, lot of uh, self-service uh, devices that are being uh, uh, put in a small kiosk, which is unmanned kiosk. Now, uh, the customers can uh, access most of the digital banking services from these kiosks. It is uh, an upgraded version of uh, having an on-site ATM. Now, all banks uh, are having on-site ATMs and off-site ATMs as well. That is, uh, add, uh, connected to the branch, nearer to the branch, uh, having an independent access or an ATM which is uh, located uh, in the marketplaces and off-site ATMs, that's what we call. So, uh, we have been giving a lot of stress on uh, penetration of digital banking services that has caught up a lot of popularity uh, during uh, demonetization of uh, high-value currency notes in uh, November 2016 and uh, uh, later on uh, the uh, pandemic which has struck the country all of a sudden and uh, people have been afraid of uh, um, uh, touching the, even the currency notes that was the situation. Uh, so then came uh, the uh, more focus on uh, digital banking and instead of banks canvassing for digital banking uh, the customers have started on their own uh, using digital banking services and uh, that has uh, uh, taken the uh, volume of uh, digital banking uh, to a very uh, high level. So now uh, we are very familiar with digital banking and uh, these digital banking units are uh, the difference between kiosks and digital banking units uh, is uh, very unique. Uh, as far as the digital uh, kiosks are concerned, they provide you the uh, minimum services uh, that are possible and mostly it is liability driven uh, services that is uh, related to deposits. Uh, there could be some kind of inquiries as far as uh, uh, loans are concerned, but uh, loans are not dispensed in uh, these kiosks and these are unmanned and they are not forming part of the uh, branch of a commercial bank. Now, digital banking units uh, will be uh, branches of banks. It will be deemed as a branch. And it will be servicing all the kinds of normal banking services which a uh, brick and mortar branch, uh, traditional banking branch uh, uses, uh, provides. Uh, so, um, uh, we will be able to get uh, uh, the, uh, the same kind of services from the digital banking units as well uh, and they are going to be set up in 75 selected districts and uh, they are going to um, provide the range of services including providing of loans. Uh, so, uh, you will get both the deposit services, remittances as well as uh, you will be having, um, uh, you will be able to get the uh, loans for from these uh, DBUs. Uh, which will be set up very soon uh, to um, celebrate the um, 75 years of Indian independence under Ajadi Ka Amrits Mahotsav that is being uh, now um, in, in progress as far as our country is concerned. And uh, um, uh, why all of a sudden uh, we want uh, digital banking to be given more stress? Because the kind of services uh, that we provide in a traditional banking branch uh, is cost and human intensive. That is, uh, it is costly uh, and it is uh, uh, human intensive. But digital banking banking services are 
less costly, more convenient, and access 24/7. That is, we can get access and anywhere in the globe. That is the convenience of digital banking. That is what we call virtual banking, or we may call it as a new banking. That is, uh, that is uh, the terminology being used nowadays uh, to represent the digital banking. Uh, so, uh, in the last ten years, we have seen that uh, we have uh, uh, created lot of digital infrastructure uh, in the banking uh, system. Uh, the number of ATMs. Uh, have uh, increased to 2.21 lakhs. Uh, that is a precisely, if you want, it is 2 lakh 21,506 ATMs uh, are in India uh, in February uh, 2022, and uh, we have about 5.83 uh, million uh, point of sale terminals that are uh, being uh, used by the merchants uh, and also by the bank respondents. That is. Uh, those uh, are also known as bank mitra. So the, these are the point of sale terminals, and we have credit cards uh, about seven point one seven crores, and uh, we have debit cards of ninety three point five crores. A huge infrastructure has been created, and from the time uh, the UPI has been launched by NPCI in uh, August twenty sixteen, there has been a digital. A revolution in our uh, country as far as the footprints of digitization is concerned. So we have huge network of uh, uh, digital banking services, including uh, your uh, digital kiosks and uh, also uh, wallets with digital wallets. So we can now make transactions of even ten uh, rupees, uh, making payment through the uh, devices. Uh, but one uh, small limitation was there as far as the UPI is concerned that it was needing uh, internet service. It, it needs an internet uh, connection, uh, and also uh, it works on smartphone. So to overcome that, now NPCI has launched uh, a new uh, UPI uh, software, uh, UPI app, which is known as UPI Light, L I T E, Light. So it gives you access even uh, without uh, internet. We will talk about uh, UPI Light uh, separately. But for now, let's understand that UPI has facilitated penetration of um, banking services uh, in far-flung areas. And if we connect it with uh, the recommendations that have been made by the Nachiket Moore Committee uh, in 2014. Uh, two uh, important uh, recommendations. There are there have been a lot of recommendations from the Learned Committee, but uh, two important as far as the uh, uh, digital penetration of the banking services are concerned. That is one is uh, that uh, every Indian adult should have a digital minimum digital banking uh, account uh, with a bank. That should be the one target. And second. nobody needs to walk for more than 15 minutes to access a banking touch point now the banking touch point can be a bc point that is a business correspondent it can be a post terminal it can be an atm it can be now the digital banking unit which is going to come out now now digital banking unit is a replica of a Traditional banking branch, with a difference that it will have a very lean staffing structure, because most of the uh, services will be virtual, and only uh, they will be uh, able to upload some of the uh, documents for loaning, and uh, they will be having interactive teller machines. They will be having KYC uh, through video uh, those equipments. Then there will be cash recyclers. now cash accepting machines are there but there will be cash recyclers so cash recyclers are they will even make payment from out of the receipts that come from the customers whereas cash deposit machine only accepts the cash so recyclers are now uh, to be placed in the dbus and uh, a lean structure just to uh, assisted banking they can provide that they will be just giving the lead please do like this 
and uh, all the services will be made available gradually over a period of time uh, now one limitation of uh, this uh, dbu will be the customers have to be educated and uh, it is necessary for the uh, all the stakeholders to uh, intensify their um, digital uh, penetration by um, launching digital and financial literacy program so people should be able to know that these dbus are capable of providing this kind of services and uh, it will be uh, just like any other bank of a branch and uh, this is going to change the landscape of uh, banking system and uh, we will be able to uh, have uh, the connectivity with the formal banking system uh, very shortly uh, and i think uh, the uh, financial inclusion index uh, in march 2021 uh, was 53.9 that is it is more than 50% uh, i think uh, when we look at these developments like uh, uh, setting up of dbus and then recently rbi has launched a, 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 a digital uh, payment product that is upi 123 pay it will work uh, on the feature phones about 400 feature phones are there in india now that is what is the estimate all these 400 feature phone holders will be able to do their transactions without an internet connection with the help of upi 123 uh, that is uh, the um, product that has been launched so now not only the internet banking uh, holder uh, but also the um, those who are not having smartphones they can also get and um, uh, government has also launched uh, if you recollect uh, um, that uh, e rupee e rupee is a um, qr code based uh, product uh, through which you can uh, uh, get uh, uh, your subsidies and uh, other uh, facilities uh, by using the qr code which will be sent to the feature phone uh, feature phones or smartphones. So one can uh, go to the nearest uh, designated merchant establishment and uh, buy those uh, commodities which are specified uh, and this is going to uh, improve the direct benefit transfers. Direct benefit transfers instead of giving cash an e rupee will be given and uh, this is going to uh, uh, extend the range of digital products so uh, friends uh, we are going to have a lot of good times as far as the digital banking is concerned so uh, get used to uh, learn the nuances of how to use the uh, digital uh, banking system and avail the services but please do keep in mind that your uh, login id and uh, pin must be kept very secure please don't share any information either on phone or on mobiles or on sms or on any uh, or in any other form uh, with anyone because that is your signature the moment you sign the check will be paid so this is the sanctity of uh, pin that is a personal identification number uh, which you should keep it very secret and change it from time to time so that even if there is some kind of uh, compromise in between it will still be secured if you have the habit of changing uh, the pin uh, from uh, time to time so friends we will see next time uh, in another interesting uh, discussions about the developments in the banking system so thank you for watching and uh, please do subscribe and uh, share this video if you like it and if you have any queries kindly put it in a, in the uh, box below uh, so that I will be able to know your feedback and we will learn together and I assure that uh, we will be coming out with this kind of learning videos uh, in due course of time. Thank you very much.